Yeah, yeah concede and, and congratulate. Why not? Mm. I'm a party man. If, if, if it doesn't happen that way and yeah, you feel... why not? You see, when mm -hmm. you're going into election, right. you should know that it's 50-50. Correct. You can win, you can lose. So why would you leave the party if you lose? I will only say otherwise when there is no fairness. Mm. When there's no fairness, you leave? I won't, I won't leave, but maybe I'll just keep quiet and wow. watch what they do. What do you make of Alan Chermantin's exit? Anybody who tells you that Alan Chermantin's exit would not pose a challenge to MPP, then the person is not a good politician. Really? Of course, yes. There are many who are saying that, well, he can, he can go. I mean, well, you can, MPP, the you party see, is stronger you, you than... See, you see, you can call his bluff, mm -hmm. but the D-Day, you see what will happen. What would they see? Yeah. Look, <laughs> in Ashanti region, mm -hmm. in Ashanti region, they are just deceiving themselves. Look, when you when they see Baumia here, Mahama here, Alan here, Alan will sweep the votes. Really? Yes. Are we not playing tribal politics, Ken? How are they playing tribal politics? Because Bahamas from the north, Baumia is from the north, they say that Ashanti region, if they see Alan, then all through and through. Yeah, I'm telling you. This afternoon, mm -hmm. I told one guy, oh, he said, oh, no, they'll vote for MPP. They are joking. And let me tell you, Alan's personality, besides Ashanti, people love him right. the way he is. Okay? And with all due respect to Osofu Chirabosum, Osofu Chirabosum was not a politician. We didn't know him and anything. He came no, and he got 3%. Mm -hmm. How can you say that Alan will not get 10, 15 percent? Alan will get that? Oh, of course, yes. Many, many. Political pundits. And, they, and, they and, don't, they don't, they don't get it. It's different from. An MPP, so you should go. Means he doesn't like the party. He doesn't. And for him to go independent, mm. you see him, you see, let me tell you something. When I was young, uh, I was chasing a girl mm. who was in Legon doing her masters. Let me tell you a true story. I was staying at uh, Medina, Red Coat Flats. I picked a girl. And I'm MPP. Okay. And she said she was going to vote for Rollins. So I asked, why are you going to vote for Rollins? And she said, the man is handsome. Simple. Her reason for mm. going to vote for Rollins is that he's handsome. So in politics, looks play a major I'm role. I'm telling you. And Alan has that personality. Mm. And he's loved by people... Who doesn't like Kenya Japan style? Kenya Japan is too whatever. Alan is calm. I'm too, too candid and sincere. But that's the truth. Oh, but that's the truth. Mm. You see, so Alan can sweep those who want. But Vi to... Vice President Baumia is also handsome. Yeah, uh, Vice President, very handsome, mm. nice. But this time, it's not his time because unfortunately for him, He's been part of the government that Ghanaians are annoying with. But you are part of it too. You are a party I'm member. Not, I have not been to cabinet before. Yesterday when they went, there was I there. Whatever decisions they take, am I consulted? I am not. Are you, are you dissociating yourself from the I MPP? I am not. I am not dissociating yeah. myself. I'm still an MPP and a proud MPP. But the government, President Kufu. Yeah, but the government have challenges. Mm -hmm. They want a new face. And a new face, when you look at my policies, mm. I think you should allow me to talk about those we'll, things. We'll, we'll get into that. For Ghanaians to, to know. know. We're, we're looking at Alan's exit, and you've articulated it very well. That no, yes, no, no, going no, no. To exit Anybody the party. who underestimates his exit is not People a People like politician. Chairman Muntumi have come out and said the party oh. is strong and... Well, let's see how it goes if they don't talk to him. And you see, I don't want to talk about Chairman Wuntuni because mm. he's a young man right. who has just come into... No, he says if you do that and you threaten him, you'll be arrested. Oh, I, I forgive him. I thought a bold man 
will always say that if you challenge me again mm. or threaten me, I'm also going to face you. But if you resort to your police, it means you are coward. Case closed. We're not going to talk about it again. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I would never call the police. I will come face to face and give you a showdown. But that's violence. That's it, not violence. No, the, I mean, the, if, mm -hmm. if you are saying that, oh, can I just point this, 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 I'm going to do this. Right. I will not call the police. I'll come and face you for you to see that I'm a man. But look, let's forget about him. Exactly what, what I, I, I want us to do. And, and, and with many that are coming through, you believe that November 4, you will stand at all. Yeah, why not? I'm a grassroots man. Why do you think the delegates will vote for you over 200,000? This it, it, it falls in line with your vision. You see, your the plan. delegates mm -hmm. will vote for me because I am the only one in the history of this country, MPP party, the only flag bearer candidate that has gone down to the polling station executives to ask them or plead with them to vote for him. Nobody has given the polling station executive respect. And now because of me, I'm a pace setter. Now everybody is going to see them. You started it? Yes. Oh. I went to constituency by constituency, asking for their votes, giving them respect, giving them recognition. I'm the one who has given the polling station executives or the delegates recognition that they also matter, that their votes count, mm. that their voice also count. So that alone is a plus. And before that, you see, mine is not fake because right from inception, I've always been fighting for the delegates. I mean, the hard work that they put up, and in the long run, they ignore them. They don't get anything. When they want anything, they have to go through, mm. you know, layers of whatever they call it. And but you say, are with them. Yeah. What, 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 what is them. your target, Ken, out of the 200,000 votes? You, you think that you're going to amass what? You know, 200,000 votes, mm. your minimum should be 120. And you will get that? Yeah. If it's free and fair. If it's free and, and fair. fair. Yeah. The ground shows and proves yeah. that you will get that. Yeah. If it's free and fair. God, the only man who gives hope or symbolizes hope mm. is Kane Japan. When you look up to me or you wake up, you wake up to hope. Now, when Kane Japan comes, there is hope for the youth of this country. Because, look, my brother, mm. paying workers... Now, even uh, you have about, about 50, 60 people again following me, and I have to pay them. Mm. You know, paying workers every month. By the time you blink your eye, the next month is there. Mm. And as an ordinary MP and a businessman, I'm creating all these job opportunities. Then what about if I become the president? Let me tell you the difference. In the business world, when a sitting president, okay, mm. goes out there with a member of parliament to lobby for jobs, the business world, their confidence will be in the president and not the member of parliament. So if, by that analogy, if Kanejapun, as an ordinary member of parliament, has been able to pull through then how much more if he's given the mantle as the president? And that's your message to the delegate? Yeah, case closed. That you have, you have a lot of the MPs towing the line of the vice president. They, they, are, are you worried? Because you have friends in there. Are you disappointed? Yeah, I am. You are? Yeah. What? Especially mm -hmm. those who are no ministers that have helped. Oh, you've helped a lot of them? Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, my wife keeps telling me, try and control the rage. Mm. I'm very, very bitter. Wow. Very, very bitter. If I had not contested, I wouldn't have known my enemies. Mm. So now this, you know them. Oh, yes. These MPs, the help that I've given them, and some of them, they come and their excuse is, oh, tell you. Mm. But after November 4th, you will see what will happen. <laughs> Why? What you see, that? if you're not even going to vote for we you have a choice. Mm -hmm. You have a choice. I don't have a problem. 
But the people, his constituency knows that I went there to campaign for him. And this man picks a phone and calls delegates and says, oh, don't vote for Kenny Japan. Vote for the number two on the ballot. Then one of them asks him, why? Then he says, Kenny Japan, the Numukasa And you've helped this guy. Ah, I say I campaigned for him. Baby, I'm not afraid of him. Baby, any? Yes. Oh, so I know the MP afraid of being. Yes. 1 a.m. I left his place. 1 a.m. For this man to tell me, say, I can never forgive that guy. You should find a place in the heart. Uh, that's what my wife is saying. But it's so, it hurts. When they sack him from Bost, he was always in my house till about 1 a.m. Consoling him. Even American came because he had depression. And this man, unto my man, no problem. But for you to go and tell your delegates, I'm making a Japan. I'll leave him to God. I don't have a problem. And that's but your I, friend. I want to assure every MP, whether president or no president, I'll live and live good. I'll live in good style. Wow. <laughs> good style. You drive a Rolls Royce. I will buy another one on my bed day. <laughs> I'm going to buy another one on my bed day. You want to buy a private jet oh, someday? Don't worry. Now, mm -hmm. I've established enough businesses. Right. You know, it was a young girl who advised me. I have all the pictures. I actually deposited one million to buy a jet. To buy the jet. Oh. One day, a lady came from US. Uh, no, no, Dubai. Real estate. She was mm -hmm. into real estate. She went with me and inspected some of the lands that I have. And she said, ah, Honorable, I'm, I'm a young girl, but I hear you want to buy a plane and all those things. With this lands that you have, why don't you use the money to develop it? In fact, I felt so bad that this young girl gave me smart <laughs> advice, you know, and I took her advice, right. irrespective of her mm -hmm. age. But now I think after the steel plant, well, I have a paint. Uh, is also you have a paint up, company as well? Coming up. Wow. When I'm done with that, you get a jet. I will get my jet. And you're into real estate as well. Yeah. I hear you have loads of uh, houses in East Legon. Over 100. Yeah. Is that true? Somebody just told no, me this no, afternoon. Oh, oh? It's not up to 100 in East Legon. Okay. Uh, other places put together is 257. 257 houses. Yes. Not just lands. These are houses. Yeah, these are houses. Lands. I have it everywhere. Wow. So, I, and sometimes I forgive my colleagues and mm. peace because... You know, maybe is their last hope. Okay, so if they don't tow the line, if they don't tow the line, mm. they will think, uh, or they they will not get any opportunity again. So I forgive them. But those who insult me, mm. like Henry Corte, he goes out there and insult me. Look at your crazy, uh, your violent friend. What? A good friend? Oh, but he's a yes, he's a good friend. Yes. Of no, you see. I'm bitter. Calm I don't know. Down, yeah, calm I'm down. trying to yeah. because Charlie, Please, calm down. what these MPs have done, a lot of them. And you've helped him before. Oh my brother, Henry Corte. That, what? That's the greater crowd. Yeah, the, but the yeah, I don't want to stress on that. Wow. I want to give you policies in it. But I'm telling you how you know, <laughs> wow. ungratefulness is very, very hurting. Calm down, honourable. Ungratefulness. Wow. I look at the MPs. I say, Ish. Some of them, I fought for them to get a ministerial appointment. Today, let me take opportunity to mm. challenge one to me to come out if I'm lying. Because my witness is Edward Boatin. Mm. With the exception of Asensu, every minister in Ashanti region, you the list to. was done in my house. Are you telling us yes. for real? Yes. The list was done in your house? Yes. Every minister? Yes, apart from Asensu. Matthew Poku Pempe? Yes. You had a hand in it? Yes. Really? Yes. Education minister? Education minister? Yes. The list was done in your house. Yes. Yes. How wouldn't you mean they call him? This is not an insult. It's the truth. Now you ask him the question. Why is it that wouldn't you brought the Ashanti list from Kumasi to my house at Moving Peak? And my witness is Edward Boateng. Three of us. I said, no, put this one here. Put this one here. And I went first to tell the president these are, you know, then, that you should consider and yeah, you push them. Yeah, then wouldn't me also went there. What you see? A lot of them. Matthew Poku Prempe, he knows. Because mm. 
uh, one minister called him and said, ah, I don't know what to say. I said, why? I said, ah, we went to president two positions, the mm. way he fought for you. And he himself is a minister. Uh, Are you worried understand? that he's supporting vice president? I don't have a problem. Mm. You see, I don't have a problem if Napo is supporting no it. The way he relates to me. It's fine. I, it's fine. That's so right. I don't have a don't problem. Have a problem. Napo has not gone anywhere to he insult me. Okay. He measured himself. Mm. Abu is another fantastic guy. I did not fight That's for him. That's Abu Jinapo. Yeah, I did okay. not fight for him to mm. be a minister. No. Okay. But he's a great gentleman. Yes. The mm. way he comports himself. Every Look, the Northern MPs, they, mm -hmm. play, they play tribal. Anytime they get to Savannah, Abu will tell you. And I get all the feedbacks. Oh. I get all the so feedback. So you single out uh, 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 Minister for Lands and Natural, I mean, Abu Jinapo. Yeah. And, and say that he's a great guy. Yes. Mm. Yes. Napo, great guy. Great guy. Who do you say? Who are the not so great guys? I don't care about them. You know, don't let us deviate <laughs> from I'm, I'm not deviating. I'm just enough. asking you. Yes. But, I but am, you are bitter. I want I'm you to come. I'm very, down. very bitter. Honorable, come The down. way they have treated me, mm. these MPs. Wow. Vice President Baumia got over 60% vote in the Super Delegates Conference. Right. How, how will you be able to beat this? Right. That's 965. Correct. Compared to two, 208,000 mm. delegates. Mm. And are you saying that the 965, they are final? Then why did they extend it to 200 if they are the final decision makers? No. Mm. So it doesn't reflect anything. There will be a showdown. Yeah. Some say you are the Donald Trump of the presidential race for election 2024. I, I you disagree. Identify. You disagree? I disagree because I've been in politics for over 23 years. So do, Donald Trump built his business. He just went, went into po politics. Okay. But I have built the business and the politics together. Mm. You know, so there's difference. We have lots of messages at this time that we want to get onto social media on Facebook and, and, and read some of your, you know, uh, uh, the questions for you. Because earlier, we asked people to send in questions for Honorable Kennedy in Japan. And it's amazing, the lots of questions that, you know, we have here just for you. You are loved, we must say, and the youth are really, you know, with you. But somebody wants to uh, ask you this, and that's come from Mamesi, listening to us in Cape Coast. It says, um... Has he ever suffered a heartbreak from a woman? Ah, yes. why not? Oh, you have? Ah, yes. Ah. me a broken heart. I had a bar. Make me a circle. Oh, really? Oh, you, yes. You lose why? your bearings. Yeah, why? Am I not a human being? Which, which, your first heartbreak will be when? Uh, you remember uh, which year? Uh, that, was, you said, yeah. that was 1992 when the Dubuahi lost the election. <laughs> <laughs> but from, from a woman? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What happened? Okay. I said, I got broke. Now, I'm a showman. You know, that time I got broke and the woman left. Oh, you financed that campaign of a Dubai? Of course. How much money did you put in that? <laughs> Personally, I gave him $300,000. 300, then, myself and Mr. Oponbiu, we used our company to took a loan yeah. of $3 million. Wow. Yeah. In 1992? Yeah. You were only 32 years? Yeah. So you went broke after that. You see, that is how you have to respect me. Mm. Those who underestimate me, it is not very easy for a young man of that age mm. to have $1 million and 31 years down the line, he has consistently been a millionaire and even multiply, multiply it 100 folds. Right. It is not easy. So if you sit there and you think you have PhD, and therefore, you are underestimating Kenya Japan because he didn't go to university. Then you are making a big mistake. Yeah. So to manage hundred million, uh, one million, into and now hundred million into hundred one fifty million dollars. So now you are worth rest. over one fifty million dollars. Oh, more than that, three hundred million dollars. I won't tell you. you but you're saying more than one fifty million dollars. Yeah, more than that. Why not? We're, we're on your heartbreak. So this woman, what happened after I do what? You went broke. Ken. Uh, broke. I got yeah. broke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, look, I went through her, because, uh, no, she's still pretty. Oh, she's still pretty. She's yeah. still around. Oh, yes. What, what, what did she say to you? She didn't like you. You didn't have the money, so... They say I got broke. Ah, and ah. she wanted the money. Yeah. 
But it's the love first. If she loved you, she should. Some women don't think like that. Mm. But maybe she's made a mistake when she hears me and uh, all those things, you know. So when you become president and she comes back, you take her back? As what? A friend, a, friend. a good friend. Mm. Oh, my wife, I don't know. No. No, no. As a good friend, oh, why? We, we still have good day. We, when we meet, we chat, we do everything. No. Do you still miss that? You wish that she, she had been your girlfriend? No, every misfortune is a blessing, blessing in disguise. Mm. You see, maybe if she had not left me, mm -hmm. my progress would not have been this. Right. So you never know. Interesting. You remember you know. your first kiss? Oh, Look, let's stick to issues. <laughs> no, we'll get to the issues. Uh, but also kids. on the lighter side, somebody first, wants, somebody wants, wants to know. Somebody wants to know from you, your first kiss. You remember that? No, I don't. You but don't? I, I think I was around 2021. 20, 2021? 20, yeah. Interesting. And uh, your first wife is uh, Madame, she runs the Netu Media Operations? Or no, what? she's not. She's not. Ken the... Kenneth's mother is. Ah. She okay. is second. Oh, she's second. The one yeah. who runs Netu. Yeah. Interesting. And with all your children, anyone taking after you? In terms of you know, business? Business-wise. Of late, Ken is not doing bad. Why, but before he was doing? Oh, say, youthful exuberance. When I was advising her, he didn't take it. Mm. One day he came to me and said, I want to talk to you, daddy. So right. okay. He sat down and he said, you know, I want to apologize. I said, why? So, you know, if I had listened to your advice, mm. I would have gone far in life. And I said, no, it's not true. If you had listened to my advice, you would have thought that you're missing something out there. Now that you've gone through it and you see that you are not missing anything, mm. it's a lesson to you. So now that you've realized your mistake, go on. That is deep. And he's made you proud now. Last December... Uh, I was at one of his programs, Afro Chella, and you came on stage. The yeah. youth and that massive support for you. Did you feel proud as a father that your son is a curator and founder of Afro Chella? Oh, yeah, why not? And, what did he tell him on that night? Were, yes. And they were in South Africa about four or five days Five ago. days ago. Did marvelously and, well. And yesterday, the president of Botswana invited him to come. They are going to negotiate with him to, you know. You see, but... Last year, the Afro, Afro Chela, mm -hmm. you know, the hell they went through. You remember he posted something that he was not going to do it mm -hmm. in Ghana again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no natural Ghana for a Subai. What, he didn't get the support from... Yeah, the frustration. Omo built boats. They oh, just wow. go and destroy Who? their built boats. Who? They don't know. Oh, they are just they are our own enemies, right? Yes. And meanwhile, South Africa... Mm. Pay this boy $1.5 million. To bring Afochella to South Africa? Yes. Is he getting support from the government, Ministry of Tourism and all of that? In Ghana, yes. yes. In Ghana? No. Now, oh, oh minister, so, or the uh, Funra, and the uh, Sobulu. Oh, but then, uh, well, no, but that's to tourism. No, that's to attract tourism. Masa, Masa, please, stop that. Yeah, you don't, you don't, don't, don't go with that We don't need myopic thinkers. So the Minister the of Tourism Ghana is... Ghana is yes. The way Ghana is, we need men with big brains. Minister of Tourism says, when you have a funeral, they'll bring Please, a bath. He's a myopic thinker. Ah, how can you tell us that? They would say so, Buru. And people were clapping. I said, Jesus Christ, what a country we live in. My tourism ideas, you have no idea. Share them with us. We want you to tell us. But tourism. Let me, let me tell you. Let's take it sector by Ghana. sector. Ghana. Yes. These young men and women that have gathered here, mm. some of them don't even know that Ghana is the center of the world. Ghana mm. is the center of the world. That's right. The latitude O degrees and longitude O mm. degrees is in Tema. Correct. Very good. Mm. And we are not making noise. That's true. We are not making noise. We are not marketing Ghana, the center of the world. We could, we could have built a hotel in the sea. Like Bujar Larev in Dubai. That's right. Center of the world hotel. Okay? My design here that I want to put on paper. First, the first five floors will be the shape of African continent. 
The second five floors will be the shape of Asia. The third five floors will be the shape of Europe. The fourth five floors will be the shape of South America. The fifth five floors will be the shape of America and North America. The sixth, the fifth six floors, the uh, six floors will be Australia. Australia. Mm. So imagine the shape. And when you become president, you do this. Oh, yes. Yeah, dare me, and I'm going to do it. I like people daring me. I'm daring you. And you if see. If you get the mandate, yeah, you do that. You see what I'm going to do. Wow. Look, a black man is capable. That is what I want to inculcate. So into. that's one for tourism. Second one for tourism. What will you do? I heard you talking about putting, you know, speed boats and uh, ferries. Tourism. Yes. Let me tell you, even the water lake, mm -hmm. you go there and no activities. There's a duty princess. Oh, please. Give me a break. Give me a break. Asa, the way the world is moving, don't mention Dodi Princess to me. <laughs> ah, we will cry. You will tie in now. So, we are my I'm big a, thinker. No, I'm asking. You are so, Bolare, Bolare, you know. Oh, my mommy, example, I see Dodi Princess. I just say what we have broaden, here Broaden your horizon. No, we, we, we know that you we see, have the MV. No. You need to dream big and think big and do things big. Which, which I stop, believe in. And stop doing But I'm only saying that what we have currently, you think that is not the best. Oh, okay, okay. Because we've been to the Dubai Marina. Oh, I know. Yeah, I've been out there yeah, to and, Jersey and you go to yeah, Pleasure Beach. You see, you see what you have. You go yeah, out there to Brighton Beach. New York. New York. Yeah, you know, 42nd Street. Street. Exactly. Well, that, look, that's so we know it, but why are we not doing it? That's the question. Mm-hmm. Now, you are not doing if you put somebody like this minister there. What do you expect? Let's leave the uh, minister and then yeah. we, we, we have some questions for you on, on X and on, also on Facebook. This one says, My question is, I will personally vote for him, but I want to know his plans for the voter region because the region ah, is NDC. Very good. And, uh, and let me tell you, don't, don't even land yes. mm -hmm. this morning. Okay. I met Votarians and told them. I'll be frank with you. The nature of the land over there, mm -hmm. Roland Sakura has done a disservice to his own really? age. I swear to God. Hey, when I, you see, let's leave politics and the polarization. And the way we indoctrinate people against, uh, you know, oh, in a way, a Igbeni, in a way, a Srimuni, in a way, a Santi. Please, if we don't stop that, we cannot develop this country. Thank you. Where NDC, where MPP, look, NDC, be a vision, a chair MPP, MPP, be a vision, a chain NDC. So we should bring them together, promote NDC business, promote MPP business. We are all one country, Ghana. That's the only way we can move. Look, Volta region. This morning, I told them, from Ho to Adagulu, Adagulu, Adidomi, mm -hmm. then Sogakope. I need 12,500 acres of land okay. for ethanol. Wow. And if you remember, two weeks ago, the G20 in India, they are promoting ethanol. Oh, yeah. And the easiest way of getting this ethanol is maize. Maize is cheaper than the cassava one the, in terms yeah. of the process. Mm. And 12,500 acres will give you 200,000 liters a day. A day? Ethanol. Yes. And for maize? Yes. And water region yes. is fertile for that? Oh, yes. My brother. Wow. You see, northern region, mm. when you compare it to water region, a comparative advantage, water stands tall. tall okay. Because of the nature of the land. land. Nothing region problem I saw and say on say share no trees, you know, a womb mm -hmm. and share no tree is also very, very important. Mm. So you cannot cut them. All right. So we'll, we'll move on. Uh, lots of questions. Yes. Uh, this one is from uh, Akan. And Akan says that Ghana currently gets five percent from its uh, gold, about fifteen percent from oil. Will President Ken and Japan renegotiate these contracts? So Ghana gets at least fifty one percent. You see. Getting 51% is tough, but mm. at least I know Kenya, they get 40% from the minerals. minerals. Right. Okay. We have to negotiate well. The word I don't want to hear mm -hmm. is carried interest. I don't want to hear that. If I go into partnership with you, mm. and as a country, you even if we make a mistake and say 10%, 
if you are mining and you get 100 bars, I know 10% is 10. So give me my 10% bars, gold bars. Let me put it at Bank of Ghana to show up my reserves. Yeah. Yeah. Case closed. Take whatever I want. I don't want to hear carried interest when the business grow, your, your, your interest becomes so. No. Practical. Interesting. No. We're moving on still to the questions. This one is from Sarah. And uh, well, before Sarah is on, Hafiz says, Please ask Honorable Kenny Japan, why does he always want to reveal his friend's secrets whenever he falls out with them? That is bad. Uh, who, who, can, that's from Hafiz. Whom did I reveal his secret? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to tell me. Okay. So, well, he you didn't see, mention names. When he, he goes there mm -hmm. to say that, if he has a secret with you, mm. if indeed what he's saying, I'm arguing, mm. if he has a secret with you, and he knows he has a secret with you, why then will he turn around to go and insult you and think, dear, you, dear, you have to keep the secret? Mm. That's why you also come out. Uh, yeah, I'll come out and let the people know who you are. So if they don't attack you, you don't be good. I mm. know a lot, but I don't say anything. Oh. But when we attack, then I open the book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ask him, any plans for constitutional reform? Yes. Like measures to tackle corruption in the past, that, government and his government? That, that alone, you, you don't need constitutional mm. reforms to tackle corruption. How will you do that? Corruption? Mm. Patriotism, honesty, and discipline. I'll use the discipline and honesty to tackle corruption. You see, in this country, Bolare here, mm. He's been given opportunity to be CEO mm. to run this place. Right. My ultimate aim of setting up this business for you mm. is to maximize profit. profit. Correct. But to maximize profit, the first five years, I want to break even to stay in business. Mm. Then after that, I want a... But what do you What about you, man? Ten years. Mm. Still, no, no money profit. is mm. coming to me. Mm. When I fire you, mm -hmm. then they go and bring a pastor. A judge. A judge. Mm. A pol politician. A chief mm. to come and beg. You not have none of that. No, hell no. When you are fired, you are fired. Mm. Case closed. Elsewhere, systems are working because there is no chief to beg. Mm. There is no pastor to beg. There is no priest. There is no politician to call and threaten. Even your own business, mm. a private business. If somebody does something wrong and you fire him, then a politician will call you and threaten you. You can have you, none of that. Can you do that in America? Mm. No. So, so when we have this kind of discipline and the barriers that we create, that, look, we are not going to tolerate that. Anybody who makes a mistake, you'll be punished. Right. That is the only way we can stop corruption. So that's why we and, have uh, officers like the special prosecutor. We have, you know, other... Again, mm -hmm. you know... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? No, tell me. <laughs> if indeed mm -hmm. the police, mm -hmm. CID, and the rest will do their work well, mm. with all due respect, you don't even need special prosecutor. Okay. If the judges will also do their work well, you don't even need a special prosecutor. So you mean to say that they're not doing their job well? No, I wouldn't say that. You know, it's the president's choice to create the special, special prosecutor's office. Mm. I don't have a problem. But I'm telling you that. The very day they give opportunity to Kenya Japan to swear in as president, every Ghanaian will, his mind will go anti-clockwise, <laughs> will change it. Because you are here talking about poor Gigami, poor mm. Gigami. The mm. population of Rwanda, Rwanda is 13 million. And 13 million now is all over the world. Mm. Why can't 32 million do the same? And yeah, they have about, a national career. Rwanda uh, is doing very well. Yeah, and it's all discipline. Mm. If you are disciplined, you'll be able to check corruption. As simple as that. Okay, so this one is coming from Sarah. Sarah says, is he going to prosecute MBP corrupt MPs and ministers and also public sector officers? You see, whoever makes a mistake or embezzles funds at the expense of the country, mm. irrespective of of your party position, you'll be punished. Case close. Interesting. Ghana first. The educational system, and uh, this one says, are you going to ensure equal opportunities for all students regardless of their socioeconomic background? 
That's a very tough question. You know, I know mm. where he's coming from. Right. You know, to be honest with you, what President Ekufuado has done, coming from that poor background, I think he's done marvelously well. But the question, what he's seeking to know, is that even Kenya Japan's children, would they enjoy free yes, SHS? Yes. Right. Which I think uh, is... What is your good. answer to that? Yeah, my answer to that is I will make sure those who can afford pay. Mm. Those so, who so it means afford, that you are going to review it? Yeah, I can review it. But to be honest with you, going to... Because, look, let me give you one example. In America, those who go to private high schools, they seldom get scholarships to go to top universities because they know you can afford that's why you went to private school. Mm. So if you go to private school and you score high, they will give it to those who went to public school. They think the public school, their parents don't have enough, and therefore they will do that. Wow. They will give them scholarships to go. So America, even the free SHS or free education, free education. is not a blanket check. Okay. What I think President Ekufuado has done very well with this is the free SHS. But the problem is some parents, mm. even admission fee, eh, exams fee, government is paying. How? Uniform, uniform. You abolish that. Government is paying. Mm. But the problem I have is Kudus, why is he? My driver was here. He just stepped out. Mm. His daughter got eight once and went to he got, she got admission to one of the top high schools. And they said free SHS. The list they gave him, the father, I had to give 10,000. So yeah, wow. Yeah, how do you call that free SHS? Mm. And do you blame President Ekufuado for so that? So people are still paying regardless. Yeah, yeah. They buy the things. things yeah. If they sell toilet roll mm. instead of one pack, yeah, he's here. Ask 10, him. 10,000 Ghana cities. Ask him. He's here. Wow. You see? First, now, come both school needing. But now they say. Yeah, yeah, reformed man. Yeah. Just, just don't. Don't. Down. don't I, I, I want to know, and for me, yeah. your first 100 days, what yeah. policies would you put in place? To conscientize Ghanaians and change the mindset of Ghanaians. We need to change the mindset of Ghanaians. Mm and inculcate this into them, patriotism, honesty, and discipline. Patriotism is just like the Bible. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. If you are patriotic, you are not going to embezzle state funds. If you are patriotic, you will not destroy government property. Mm. You know, those things. So we have to inculcate that into Guineas. Because, look, when you go to America and you see Guineas with American passport, they are so proud to be Americans. Europe. UK, they are so proud to be British. But Ghanaians are not proud of their own country because they, are, they have no jobs and all those things. So we need first to conscientize Ghanaians to change their mindset mm. and inculcate this patriotism, honesty, and discipline into them. Example of discipline, I make us say, we're going to mm. allow national service students to go to military, military for six okay. months. And that you will ensure that yes. it happens. Yes. We're, we're, we're coming that is still on the message. This one says, Bola, thanks so much for bringing Honorable Kennedy Japan into your studios. Today, as a lawyer, I've actually, you know, been able to understand his policies for Ghana. God bless him. And that's from uh, um, Eja uh, coming to you. And he says, congratulations to you. We want to just get also into the lighter side of Kennedy Japan as we, you know, unwind and get to know you better. How, how do you relax what do you do in that time that you want to take it easy what do you do i Ken? don't even know you don't even know what to do to relax no you don't relax no, i'm only thinking about money <laughs> and how to create jobs. I, I i i watched an interview of yours where he says well you, you wake up and two things on your mind fights and money is that still in there fights no, or no, now you're now, old now i'm too old to fight <laughs> <laughs> so but that's for the money it still lingers on but you have a lot of money you are no. worth over 150 million dollars oh, what a game do you want? 
when uh, Forbes mm-hmm. giving you billionaires and all those things, right. you sit here and 150 50 million, million. No. you are priding yourself. Mm. 150 million is nothing. Right, right. I worth more than that. That one, You're I worth, to assure you. Yeah. yeah, of course. You supported we'll, President Ekufadu's campaign as well in 2016 with money? Yeah, why not? Just like you did with uh, for Professor Dubois. Yeah. He's a good friend. Okay. You know, he likes me and I like him. <laughs> Sometimes I have to be straight. So when, when was hear, the last time you, you met President Kofuad? Uh, two weeks or so. What did, or he say three, to, what did he say to you? What did he say oh, to you? How can I discuss? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I mean, with, it's just some fraternal with, order. What with, would with President, and I'll come and sit here. <laughs> oh, no. Share. But did he say that, oh, the showdown comment? Because many said you were, you know, hauled before the disciplinary committee and all no, of that. He's, he's mm-hmm. a fine man. You see, he really understands politics. He's okay. a Democrat because... Okay. Uh, maybe initially he didn't take it lightly, but he realized showdown is harmless, a uh, you know, statement and right. you know those things. So he didn't take it in here. Yeah. No, he's he's still a nice guy. Still a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. All right. So you don't have time to relax. You just think about money. Honestly, you know, I go to sleep first yeah. three four hours deep. Mm-hmm. After that, things will be going into my mind. You know this amount of money i need to do this and it's not easy to come by wow. that money especially in our economy mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. it's not easy to come by that so i'll be thinking 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 and sometimes i don't know how my wife has studied me and observed it. she can look at my face and say ah, what are you thinking about because your mind is not here yeah. and truly truly i'll be thinking about something i just i'm always thinking about how money. to create not money, well, the money, but to create mm. opportunities for the youth. Wow. That is my sole aim in life. You see, making money and not helping people... Mm. Uh, it's business. I, I don't think I get satisfaction in that. Mm. My satisfaction, to be honest with you, first, my happiest moment is when I'm on a dining table with all my girls, my daughters, so sons. how many daughters, how many sons? 16. 16 girls. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And, and that, that gives you that happiness. Yes. You find joy in yes. that. When yeah. last did you do that? I then, saw you in Dubai with many of them during your 60th birthday. Yeah. Wow. And my second happiness mm. is when I wake up in the morning, I go around, visit my companies, and I see Ghanaians that are put to work. Mm. And then I reflect so much where I'm coming from and where I've got into and where I want to go, then I feel satisfied. Son of a sin dumping. Yes, that poor soul. Wow. Now you go there, you see everybody working for me. God that has blessed you. It gives me satisfaction and I want to do more. Any favorite music? Let's talk about our music scene as well. Any favorite musician, anybody that you love to listen see, to over and see, over again? I have a lot of friends. Right. Who are musicians? And, and yes, who are musicians. So... Your top, your top five will be what? No, if I, I, I won't mention their names. Right. But the other day, I made a mistake and left one of them. So, oh, honorable. <laughs> she, forgive me. I met one of them this afternoon <laughs> anyway, but I want to see if I'm, <laughs> I put you on the spot. Yes, <laughs> just five names. No. Because they, they know you love Afrobeats, you love hip life. I made a I mistake like. just about two weeks ago. Okay. I was mentioning the names and left one. Is Daddy Lumba one of them? He called me. Is Daddy Lumba yeah, one of he's them? The old Friend, you know, okay. Amachi like you love his music? Yes, I love Amachi Dede. Yeah. Medical. Oh, only the new ones. That's right. Yeah. These three guys, the old, you know. Okay. You enjoy the music? Ah, uh, oh, hey. okay. yes. Minube Kodjiro. You love Kodjiro. Oh, yes. And Amachi Dede. Amachi Dede. Which of his songs, Amachi? And Lumba. <laughs> Which of Amachi's songs? Oh, why are you putting this, this is a star chart. You know, we want to know the other side of you. Look, uh, that, presidential that, material. I don't, yes. Amachi Dede, which song? I don't want to offend you. Because, anybody. no, you just sang that of, you know, um, uh, oh, Kodjiro. Not the person you were part of. That's fine. Minube Wakonoba. Yeah, that's I saw Omani yeah. now. No one work on number. I got beautiful girls. <laughs> <laughs> you got beautiful and, girls and handsome guys. How, how does it feel to have over five wives? I don't have five wives. Five, yeah, five women in your life that you have over five I, women. I won't advise anybody. Mm. You see, so long as you have a child with them, yeah, you are always indebted to the woman. Ooh. And every month, 
the salary of these kids, mm. you have no idea. Wow. And everybody has a home. You have to take care of that house. Are you giving them the, houses or what? Every child of mine. Yeah. Has a house. Yeah. Mm. You know, those things. And because if you don't do that, mm. one day if you die, one woman can collect everything and leave other kids. Will you do a will or put it in trust? Or how are you doing that? I don't believe in trust. You don't? Yeah, because I've one experience with Mr. Tano, the golf. Place. Yes. Yeah. The, his children came to me in New Jersey and complained about, uh, you know, so I don't want, I don't want to go into details, mm. but I don't believe it. The trust is, Madam Nebenye, if you were need there, Sika we need you many case close. And Wakolani didn't want. Also, we are missus. You can't go there and take it. Take it. Yes. That's it. But I leave some of them for them to fight to see their foolishness when I'm dead. Yeah. Oh, so you've left some for them to fight, but that's not fair. You know what? That one they will fight over. Is the, that is the one protecting me. Ooh. That one is not in any woman's <laughs> name or any child's name. So if you leave me, at least I have this one to chop Chow. from. <laughs> I'll be seven years smart. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Ever had the situation where you had all the children? No. Oh, they are not friends. Uh, one of them, very tolerant. You know, she allows the rest to bring their kids. <laughs> you know. But listen, yes. you have to give that space. Let every woman have respect. Okay. You don't have to disrespect anybody. You see, we are talking about this, but I did it when I was young. Today, yeah. I'm advising my You children. look back and you feel that yeah, now. You know, although my joy is in the kids, the problems, when you, look, when you buy business class for this one. You have to. And you know the problem? They are together. Mm. Wherever the they children. are. Okay. Yes, they talk to each other. So when they are traveling... Oh, I'm going to holidays, this, this. They know the class. Wow. And they will tell their mother. So if they are also leaving, you have to buy their business class. Ken, you, you have to continue to make a lot of money because you have loads of responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Fortunately, mm -hmm. I have about nine of them that have, are doing very well. Very well. Yeah, so now they are out. Because you have a daughter working at Google. You have one right there on Wall Street and all of that. So you're, you're doing it. Oh, how many of them? I mean, two. Wow. Wall Street. Proud father. And, uh, from Ascent Dumpin. And you have your children right there. Yeah. And you have a beautiful home in, in, in Jersey, right? Congolza. <laughs> <laughs> because we know. But our music sector, this is from a musician, and he wants to know. What about the music industry? What yeah. is it going to do for us? Yeah, the music industry, you know, and the, the showbiz. Yes, a movie industry. Well, yes. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. We need to build fantastic studios over here. What I don't like is, why is it that any good music or show, they have to go and do it in Dubai, yeah. South Africa, London. we are going to do it here. Under your president. Yes. You will bring it down. Nice to studios. Nice studios. Let others also come here. Mm. We are human beings. We have to challenge ourselves. We have to challenge ourselves. We need nice studios. Okay? Mm. But nice artists. Correct. You know, when you enter the studio, mm. like what you've done, done here, yeah. you, you should be proud of yeah. And you can change it That's for right. the next artist. Mm. So we need beautiful studios over here. And I don't like AJ Mewu, AJ Mewu movies. We will improve on that, their movies. Mm. The ones that you can sell. That's right. You see, the AJ Mewu, mm. is here. You are limited to only Ghana. You see, if, don't laugh, I'm serious. I know. I'm telling it's, you. It's just funny. You see, if you really want to go international, mm. you have to improve on, you know. And what I know, we have to create funding, right. fund right. for them. Because to produce a good movie or song, you need a lot of money. You see, my kids came here and they did what? CD or what? Uh, CD Life. Life, yes. Yeah, the reality show. Quite. Yeah, CD mm -hmm. Life. And mm -hmm. They start, I've decided to sponsor them because a guy in Houston didn't believe that we have such places in Ghana. They had bad impression about it. So they were shocked. 
to see my girls, you know, what they were doing. That's a good one. Mm. Okay? So this time, I promised them this Christmas, when they come, I'll give them money. That's a lot of money then. Yeah, don't worry. Over $100,000. Oh, that's peanuts. Okay. What is $100,000 to Kine right. Japan? To my kids. Exactly. Uh, and you're helping here. the industry as well. Yes. So we need to create fund for the industries mm. so that they come out with good production that they can sell outside. If you want good production, I can tell you one. Tell it. You know, uh, no, that, that is why that is why <laughs> we have you here in the studio. Yeah. The visions, the policies, your you ideas. Know, like what? Sir Okay. No, when you see his videos and the uh, is he your favorite artist then? I well, would in say terms of packaging and presentation. Yeah, the packaging and presentation. Mm. You know, that kind of a he is Thank what you. we need, need. Um, to portray Ghana as a developer, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that we have also arrived. We don't have to be always be doing AJ Mewo, AJ Mewo. What kind of way is that? We'll, we'll be closing at night. We're supposed to have done at 8 30, but lots of messages and many are saying that they love this interview. Kennedy in Japan is a maverick indeed. And today I've had a different perception and also mindset about him. I think that people just provoke him. And he's a sweet man. I'd want to be his girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> and that's from now Nancy. Weak. Now, now you're weak. Now I'm weak. Mm. You see, where I am today, mm -hmm. I don't need any women again. That's right. What I need to do is to effect change in people's life in this country. Mm. Okay, whether you are president yeah, or yeah. not, do you something. You want to impact lives. Yes. We'll come to that because we have something that we do on this show, we started on this show, impacting lives and helping others in terms of employment or what you want to do for them. But this one is from Sadiq Boniface, and he says... Please ask him. He's building the biggest cold storage. Would he stop importing frozen chicken and help local farms to supply? Yes. You see, even if you promote local uh, you know, production, you need to store them. Mm. The storage is very, very important. Right. But importing of fish, look, let me tell you the truth. Uh, we are in 2023, right? Mm. 2021 October. To 2022 October, I had imported 30 million dollars fish for Mauritania. 30 million dollars for, for Mauritania. Mauritania. Yeah. Now I ask a question: mm -hmm. Why is it that Ghana here, all the vessels, all the vessels that are, you know, applying, you know, on our sea, you know, near, mm. hold foreign flags with yeah. Ghana? A. The catch. And they export it even on high seas. Mm. We have a lot of red fish in our seas. And red fish is expensive, but we don't even see it. Mm. And we are importing herrings and all those things in it. My brother, I'll stop a lot you of stop things. stop all of that. Oh, yes. All right. Fred says that in the event that the NDC comes in there, or oh, President Muhammad says, I want you, Ken, to be my vice uh, uh, president or presidential <laughs> candidate, will he accept it? You see, I have a reputation to maintain. I will not sabotage MPP, uh, NDC, mm. because if they are there, whatever they do is to the benefit of Ghanaians. I don't have. You see, you don't have to be president or vice president to effect change in people's lives. But where the situation is, we that are is now. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm coming. But not say at all costs I have okay. to be vice president. If they ask for my opinion, mm -hmm. now I know they're stealing my ideas. The NDC, they're stealing your ideas. All of them. NDC, MPC. MPP, all of them. Oh. So if they want any advice, I'll give them because mm. Ghana first. So if President Mahama should call you and say, well, Ken, I, I need you to help me in this area or maybe some council. Not appointment. Yes. But advice. Mm. Yeah, I will share my they brainstorming and they take you Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? You, will. you see, mm. I've learned a lot in politics. Let me apologize to President Mahama. Oh, you want to take this opportunity to yes. apologize to yes. President Mahama? Yes. On what, please? Yeah, because you know, because of NDC MPP, the way he has handled me and the way I have spoken harsh words, you know, I think they have not been fair to Mahama. Wow. He's such a wonderful to a standard. Mahama, mm. president, former President Mahama, his wife, 
loves me to death. One day, we're in parliament and President Mahamaki, he said, hey, come, my brother, come. You know, the way my, my wife likes you. He said, if I am not alive, the only man in this country that she would love to marry is Kenya Japan. Really? I said, wow, oh yes. That is how nice this man was to me. And one day, we were on British Airways. I didn't know the wife. The woman kept staring at me from Heathrow. So when we got to VIP, the woman approached me and gave me a phone to talk. Then President Mahama, that time she, he was vice. He started laughing. Oh, you know, if you didn't know your wife, that's your wife. <laughs> but you went hard on him. <laughs> yes, I apologize. I'm a human being. You're a human uh, being. But that is uh, great. Uh, 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 I'm yeah. a human being. I think if I recount mm. back you know, my relationship with him and all those, you know, I think that... You want to say to him that you're sorry? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Wow. Interesting. So, former President Mahama, that's one for you. And this one is from David. David says that what will be his next line of action if it turns out that he doesn't become the flag bearer of the MPP? Oh, but he answered that. So, uh, said, clearly, David, yes. I'm still an MPP. That's right. Yeah. Right. So, uh, this one says, Bola, he says that the NDC MPP, they are stealing his ideas. He should name one idea that they've stolen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. You see, I don't want to personalize this, uh, you know. Uh, let's leave it there. Mm -hmm. And you see, say, whatever Kenya Japan is saying, uh, they are taking it and they will incorporate it in their All right. policy. Coffee, Coffee Bar says all. that greetings from the Premier Care Hospital, uh, CEO to my incoming president. So that is going out to you from the Premier Care you know, Hospital, CEO. And uh, also from Robert Coleman, uh, says that Ghana Gas, uh, he's the board chairman, and recently he's commissioned something unprecedented, an astroturf. For Ghana Gas, and he says, Congratulations. How can, how can he say commissioning <laughs> AstroTF his own president? That's small thing. Okay. So, Robert Coleman, he says that that is a small thing and he's ah, going to do more if it's. Uh, but he says, Congratulate him for opening that one on behalf of the workers of Ghana Gas. Okay. We're proud of him. I They're accept, happy. I accept that. You accept that? Yeah. Okay. So, but it's, it's one of those things. Yeah. I mean, that is not a major thing that you yeah. do. Interested. We have just about some five minutes to hit nine o'clock. And I hear on X, formerly Twitter, it, it, it's just something else. The massive following and the love. And also questions for you. People are saying that they didn't know the other side of Kennedy. don't get close, close to you. How would you know the other side? Mm. When mm. you get close to me, right. you see that he's a fine man. But Ken, also from... Now let me make this statement before you go. You see, the problem I have or the challenge I have in this country is mm. that Ghanaians misconstrue confidence to be arrogance. Mm. I'm confident. Assertiveness, confidence. Mm. Yes, I'm confident. And they think by being confident. But they send the I'm, insults every time. What insults? Yes. Proverbs 26, verse 4 and 5. Mm. You see, they be like, oh, leave him, oh, one of the other things. Oh, that's how he is. And he continues to do that. So, so if you're not provoked, you also not no, get no, it. No, no, okay. no, no, why not? At some point, in a, and not all provocations, mm. sometimes I ignore a lot of things. What they say. But when you continuously do that, then I also go to your level. All right. Then, you see, the unfairness in this country is, whatever people do to me, whatever they say about me, Ghanaians don't hear. They hear only what I say. <laughs> <laughs> you right. know? That is unfair. Yeah, very, very unfair. Okay. Kofi, uh, Kofi from NS Kevin says that greetings to you, Bolare. Ask him about the double salaries. And also, I can see Kennedy, Japan loves your tie. He kept referring to it. Of course, I mean, it's a great one. No, he knows what time it is. No, you know, I know what time it is. Uh, thank you. What would you do to MPs who have taken double salaries if you become president? Let me give you a mm. under my administration, if right. I get it wrong. You take there, there's no chance for you even to take double salaries. Mm. But you know what? To be honest with you, my approach will be Buhari's own. Anybody who feels that he's stolen Ghana's money, mm -hmm. you bring it. And you're not doing it, isn't it? Yeah. But if you go after them, hold on. Mm -hmm. We'll give you six months. 
But if you don't do it, and we do the investigation, 103.5 star, and you are found, but, 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 you know, you have to face the law. So the first six months, you give them the opportunity. Amnesty. Anybody Amnesty. that. Okay. Amnesty to bring whatever, you know. So that, look, you see, another thing I'm going to stop is I have a problem in Ghana here. Whatever NDC did, I think MPP should continue it before mm. going to do the same thing elsewhere, mm. especially when it comes to housing. So, Saglobi like Housing, you have Yes, I have a problem. Although there have been embezzlement and all those things, they should have brought to an end. They say, you know. And so, President Kupati it. should have continued without the yes. sector minister Yes, so. yes, mm. yes. Mm. yes. Mm. Honestly, that's my candid opinion. Right. Because you are wasting the money. You have all these properties lying there. And we are now going to set up another day. Right. President could force time to... <clears throat> excuse me. NDC also did the same thing. When they came, instead of finishing President Kufo's they home, started. they mm. started their own. That kind of policy we have to stop. You see, continuity is important for us to move this country. Mm. That does not mean that if the cost of the project is 10 and inflate it to 50, we don't have to deal with you. We'll deal with you, but we'll continue. Continue the project. Yeah, continue the project. If not, right. we have all these uncompleted, scattered, mm. you know, apartments. We'll, we'll come to that. We have, we, we have some messages from our sponsors, and we'll go for a break as well. But from MTN, we would like to say, you know all we have those days. I mean, your loan, everything, energy, time, cash, and even airtime and data. Well, that's why MTN Extra Time is an airtime and data advanced service that allows you to make calls or browse the internet even when you have insufficient balance. So please remember... Doing your favorite things on MTN means that you don't get interrupted even when you are low on airtime or data. We'll be back with a final question, and that'll be the mystery question for Honorable Ken at Japan, and we'll be wrapping up. This is Star 103.5 FM. Simply the best. Who is the good? Ghana Jollof or Nigerian Jollof? Ghana Jollof has no co equal. The smell alone. Mm. Oh my god. No, that shit. You took a lie, eh? Now they say you when they use Google Lens and then they go put them for two. Oh, yeah. You are lying. Oh. Ghana Jollof. Oh. Ghana Jollof. <laughs> The only goat I know lives in Tama. Every year, we will give to you back to back. Ba, 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 ba. We are talking about beauty. I want to be the goat. Huh? My guy, be the goat. Obia, what you pay? Wobolo, bo. Jolof, Ninyum too. Nansu, Alomo Betis, Kayin Abum, Abri Biara. Alumu, Mausi Pisita, Emreni Nemo. And Tom up in for your moment if you watch it. No, 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 this is Star 103.5 FM. Simply, simply the best. Indeed, simply the best. And simply the best. And our guest is right here. Uh, all smiles. And uh, I can see that Honorable Kennedy Japan has enjoyed this interview. As we wrap it up, we'd like to say a big thank you to our sponsors, MTN. Thank you very much. And also going out to Coa Plus. Big thank you to Coa Plus Mixture for your general well-being. Haptel. Haptel is everything you. And Tabia Takum. Berima, we are Takum. So MTN says, ready to treat your callers to good tunes while you win incredible rewards, interesting endpoints by purchasing, renewing, or copying, or gifting your favorite caller tunes. And you can win amazing prizes. Based on on your total accumulated points and that's from mtn so start collecting your color tunes points today it's simple just dial star 1355 hash to get started on the mtn color tune service and it's on from now to the 7th of november 2023 tnc's apply ah so a lot a lot going on right here and this is coming in from bafo bafo says please ask honorable kennedy japan i'm enjoying this interview what is his take on the national cathedral uh, to be honest with you, the National Cathedral, I support, but it's based on the design. 
The design? Yeah. I don't know how complex that design is. If indeed it's complex, it's good for tourist attraction. Let me tell you, if you go to Spain, Barcelona, Sagrada Familia, when you see this Sagrada Familia, the money that Sagrada Familia, the Catholic Church, is generating for the city of Barcelona. Um, I'm trying to get the name of the mm. contractor, the architect, Gaudi. Even his house, mm. because of that Catholic church he designed, his house now is a tourist attraction. So you are for the National Cathedral? Yeah, I'm mm. coming. I right. said, based, That's because of time. Based mm. on the design. Right. If the design is complex, where a tourist has a choice to make, mm. he will look at Sagrada Familia or the Catholic Church in Belgium, or the Strasbourg, or Hamburg, and take a decision to come to Ghana, then it's a good thing. But if it is not complex, then I have a problem with it. You've seen the design. Is this no, something? I haven't oh, seen you haven't. the details. Okay. I only see what is there. I haven't seen the details. Mm. If it's indeed complex, okay. yeah, then it you attracts, are right. Yeah, it attracts a lot of people. Okay. It's not time for the mystery question as we wrap it up. So there we go. And then uh, can you just pick that one for us? Yes. And read it out. Your mystery question is, Honorable Kennedy Japan, what do you have there? If there's one person in the world you want to say sorry to, who will it be? I think Why? you've done that. And that's President Mahama. Yeah. You've done. So we go to the next one. Yes, that will be what? If one of your children comes over to you and say he or she now identifies as gay, what will be your reaction or response? Why? Look, me, I'm a traditionalist. I don't want to hear that nonsense. We didn't hear you. Come closer to the mic for us. Or not, but... <laughs> me, I'm a traditionalist. Right. Case close. Okay. Case close. So if they should come to you and they identify as gay? You dare not. Case close. I'm a traditionalist. Hmm. He did not. Thank you very much, Honorable Kennedy Akompeko. Uh, let, yes. let me say hi to my delegates. Please do. You know, your message for the delegates before yeah, we go. My message for the delegates. I'm mm -hmm. um, pleading with the delegates to give me opportunity to lead as a flag bearer. Uh, the statistics and the survey clearly indicates that I'm the one who can break the eight. I'm loved by Ghanaians and they are willing to give me a chance. I'm the one who has them at heart. That will create job opportunities for them. Don't make a mistake and go and take money. Whatever money you take to, today, you will regret in future because you have no job. Job, job, job. Is what you are promising. Yeah, we we'll create mm -hmm. job opportunities for you, for your family, for your kids, everybody, so that you can have a good life. That life that you're going to have it's not the same as the money that they are going to give you today. Mm. How much money can they give you today? Again, they have to be careful that all these seven years, nobody approached you to give you money until Kane Japan gave you respect and recognized you as human beings that have helped this party and came to you that now others are also following, coming mm. to entice you with money and everything. Please. The election in November 4th. Yes, you vote for Kennedy and Japan. If you vote for Kennedy and Japan, you vote for employment. You mm. vote for opportunities. Mm. If you don't vote for Kennedy and Japan, God knows I've done my part. You've done your part indeed, Kennedy. What is your biggest fear in life as we wrap up? Your biggest fear in life is? It's tomorrow that I don't know. Mm. That's your biggest fear? Yeah. If the day comes, forget it. <laughs> I take it. I take as it, it is. Yeah, I take wow. it as it is. Thank you very much, and we wish you the very best come November 4. And you promised them a showdown. Yeah. By by 10 p.m., you believe that you will be victorious. Yeah. God willing. Yes. God willing. Yes. We wish you the very best, Ken. Thank, thank you. Very and much. have a lovely time. Thanks so much for being our first guest and relaunching Star Chat. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, hey, hey. This is my station. Stop.